Now firstly let's see how to find the trigonometric values for different angles that we generally use in trigonometry. So suppose I want to find sin of 30 then press sin then press 30 and press equal to. Now you are getting 0.5 I want it as half so press this S D that converts it to decimal to fraction so I get half which is the required answer which we write in our answers now let's see an another value suppose I want the cos of 30 then I am getting root 3 by 2 the root 3 by 2 is what you get directly on your calculator if you have got an ES calculator if I don't have an ES calculator then what I get is I get this value 0 0.8660 and which cannot be converted back to root 3 by 2 because root 3 is an irrational number so if I have got an ES calculator then only I get this as root 3 by 2 or else no now let's think of something else so once you get this cos sin tan of any angle for that firstly check whether your mode is on degree mode if it is not on degree mode then convert it to degree mode and then afterwards use these functions now in place of sin cos tan I want cosec theta I want sec theta then those functions cannot be found directly on the calculator so what we do is we find 1 divided by sin 30 this is what this is cosec 30 cosec is cosec theta is 1 divided by sin theta so use 1 divided by sin 30 which is cosec 30 and the value is 2 you can see that it is 2 so if you want cosec theta use 1 divided by use the formula 1 by sin theta if I want say sec theta then sec theta is 1 divided by cos theta cos say 60 then it is again 2 let's try another value 1 divided by cos of 45 so I know that cos 45 is 1 divided by root 2 if I take the reciprocal of that that should be root 2 so this is sec 45 ok you can see the answer now let's try cot cot of so 1 divided by tan tan of say 60 degree it will be root 3 it's a reciprocal so 1 divided by root 3 this is how you can find cosec theta sec theta and cot theta cot cosec and sec cannot be found directly this you keep in mind now suppose I want x square then we use this function in place of x I can put the value 2 2 square in place of say 3 square like this we can find now if I don't want square I want uh, say sp a specific value say I want 2 raise to 6 then you can find it using x raise to that box bracket box function if I want root of something then use this root of box the so root of say 81 it is 9 let's try an another value root of say 32 do you know root of 32 it is not there but it is giving a value which is in terms of root so it is 16 into 2 so 4 root 2 so you can find any root using this now I want to find say fractional addition, fractional multiplication, fractional division then we use this key box upon box so 5 
divided by 2 then plus say again a box so 3 divided by 5 equal to 31 upon 10 so you can find such fractions addition subtraction anything that you want i am not able to find the lcm i am not i am not very good at finding the, the lcm and then afterwards adding subtracting then we can make use of calculator and get these answers now in place of say addition i want I want multiplication then I have again the answer 3 by 2 so 5 by 2 into 3 by 5 will be 3 by 2 like this you can do it now the only thing is if I want to add or subtract something which we generally do for determinants so 5 into put a bracket as you will as you put a bracket while calculating or while writing the things we put a bracket 5 then plus say another bracket minus 3 bracket complete this gives me the answer so 5 minus 3 is 2 2 into 5 is 10 now in place of this suppose I have delete minus then it will be 5 minus minus 3 which is 5 plus 3 8 8 into 5 40 so make appropriate use of brackets wherever we require you can complete the entire statement over here and get the final answer also now let's see how to solve equations for equations press mode and in mode you can find equation mode and in that equation mode it is uh, whatever the number related to equation press that and then afterwards you can find these equations this is a quadratic equation this is a cubic equation so a quadratic equation suppose I want to solve hmm. now I will press the value for a a means the coefficient of x square so coefficient of x square uh, my equation was 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so I will first press 2 that is the coefficient of x square then press equal to now coefficient of x that is plus 1 so press 1 then equal to now press the constant which is minus 6 so minus 6 then again equal to now once you have all these entries again press equal to I will get the value of the answer that is x1 first value x1 is minus 2 and the other answer is 3 by 2 so these two values I get directly and I have the solution of the quadratic equation first is minus 2 and the other is 3 by 2 you are allowed to write the answer x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 3 by 2 directly once you have the quadratic equation you need not show the simplification of how these values come so you can use your calculator and get these answers to get out of this now suppose here is a system of equations I have got under equation again you will have these uh, the first one is a n x plus b n y equal to c n this solves system for two unknowns that is x and y if I want to solve it for three unknowns x y z then we take that a n x plus b n y plus c n z equal to d n that one so press the number corresponding to that equation you will you will get a matrix of this form a b c and d so a means the coefficient of x 
B means the coefficient of y, C means the coefficient of z, and D means the constant. So suppose I want to solve the equation. Suppose the last equation of the tutorial, p1 plus p2 minus p3 equal to 0, 2p1 plus p2 plus p3 equal to 26, and p2 plus p3 equal to 14. Then first equation is p1 plus p2 minus p3 equal to 0. So p1 means coefficient is 1 equal to p2 coefficient again 1 equal to p3 coefficient is minus 1 so put minus 1 equal to d that is the constant it is 0 so put 0 now second equation the cursor also comes to your second line so p1 coefficient 2 press 2 equal to then press p2 coefficient which is 1 then press again equal to 1 any, any entry you want to do put that and then e press equal to now again the coefficient it is 1 so press again equal to now constant of your second equation which is 26 so press 26 now press equal to now you come to your third equation the cursor goes to the third equation again p1 coefficient is not P1 coefficient is not there, so we take 0 equal to P2 coefficient 1 equal to again again P3 coefficient which is a sum. So I am putting the constant 14 which is the constant for the last equation equal to now I will get the proper answer which is x is equal to 6 then y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 10 suppose i don't uh, properly remember whether i have substituted everything correctly then again press equal to and check what you have put so i have put a1 b1 c minus 1 and d0 for the first equation now a is 2 then b is 1 c is 1 and d is 26 for the second equation and then for the third it is 0 1 1 and 14 so whatever i have input this is correct so you can again press equal to and get the answer again so x is equal to 6 y equal to 4 and z equal to 10 this is the correct answer and you will have no mistakes done in this so if you have put the correct input you will surely get the right output so we stop with this thank you